So, so I didn't expect any support from my, from my colleagues. And, and it isn't that I don't care if I got it, but it's, it's, in some sense it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to me because my goal was I'm not saying those goddamn pronouns. And the reason I'm not saying them is because they're made up by left-wing ideologues. And I don't like left-wing ideology. I don't like ideology, period. And I know where corruption of speech leads. And I'm not going there. And, you know, one of the things I tried to learn when I was taking apart what happened in Auschwitz and trying to put myself in the position of an Auschwitz camp guard, which, by the way, you can do if you use your imagination a bit. I wouldn't call it exactly the world's most pleasant meditative experience. But you can call up parts of yourself that would be capable of taking someone who just got off a transport train and having them carry a 100-pound sack of wet salt from one side of the camp compound to the other and back. You can conjure that part of yourself up if you want, and that'll teach you something about what you're like. People don't do it because it's too frightening. But I know perfectly well that I could do that sort of thing. And so once I learned that I could do that sort of thing, and maybe that I could even enjoy it, I thought, okay, fine, I get it. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to live so that if that opportunity was presented to me, I wouldn't take it. And I think that's the lesson that people need to learn from the 20th century. It's like, that's what human beings did, okay? Well, we're all human, okay? So how is it that we should live so that we don't do that again? Well, part of that is to try to say the truth. No matter what, because the alternative is worse, and it is worse. The truth, no matter what, and that is the real problem that you see with being forced into using these made-up pronouns. Yeah, absolutely. It's my language. I'll take responsibility for what I say. I am not saying your words.